So it turned into a GC day and I finally get a prediction right. Tadej Pogacar taking the win yet again and extending his lead by a few seconds in yellow. It's a strong break though. Leonard Kamner almost made it. Um, big, big talking point is that Alexander Vlasov lost over a minute and a half. So he is now probably firmly out of the game for the podium. He That will open up more attacks for Bora though, so expect them to come close to the win again. Ineos had a mixed day. Uh, Pidcock rode fantastically well, um, as I expected to be honest. Danny Martinez suffered, he had a bad day. If that's his only bad day and he lost 44 seconds, then that's a good ride for him. But their best bet at the moment seems to be Garant Thomas. Uh, Mas, Godou and Bardet were kind of the best of the rest behind Vingegaard, who timed his sprint well, apart from the fact that Pogaccia timed it even better. Um, for me, Pogaccia at the moment is kind of toying with everyone and come the Alps. I expect him to try and put a lot of time into them. Uh, Roglic is an interesting one. For me, he'll attack. Will Pogaccia and UAE let him go? Will he then have to ride on the front for Vingegaard? I imagine so. That's how I would use him anyway. If I was Jumbo Visma. All in for Jonas Vingegaard. He can put Pogaccia under pressure. But I see Pogaccia as still the overwhelming favourite. Interesting little side point. Matthew van der Poel started the day with a 50-50 chance um, of going home and he finished seven minutes, eight minutes down. So he seems to be getting better, so watch out for him on the weekend and maybe even tomorrow as well. Thank you and I'll see you next time.